you are in command of one of the world's most extraordinary automobiles, the Jaguar XJS, an unparalleled union of power, incomparable luxury, and engineering excellence. Now, the classic open Jaguar is reborn. The Jaguar XJS convertible, the total driving experience. Before you enjoy the legendary Jaguar ride, take a few minutes to discover the remarkable refinements that set Jaguar apart from other world-class automobiles. Notice the three switches on the center console just behind the gear selector. The left and right switches control the two front windows. The middle switch marked roof controls the convertible top and the two rear quarter windows. There are several important procedures which must be followed before the roof can be lowered. First, be sure there is nothing in the roof storage area which could interfere with lowering the top or damage the heated rear window. Take care that hands, fingers, hair, or other objects are well away from the windows and roof mechanism. The roof switch can only be operated when the car is stationary. The handbrake is on. The gear selector is in park or neutral and the ignition switch is in position one or two. The handbrake is located to the left of the driver's seat. It rests in a stowed position whether engaged or not. To engage the brake, lift the handle firmly up against the ratchet, then slip it back into the stowed position parallel to the floor. To release the brake, lift the handle up as far as it will go, depress the thumb button, then return the handle to the floor. When the ignition is on, a light on the instrument panel will warn if the handbrake is on. To lower the top, engage the handbrake, put the gear selector in park or neutral, and turn the ignition to position one or two. Next, release the roof handles located over each door window. Press the small button at the end of the handle and pull down to release the hook which attaches the roof to the header bar. Then push the handle back up to its original position. Press and hold the rear of the roof switch on the center console until the roof is fully lowered. The rear quarter windows automatically lower with the roof. For safety, the top and windows stop moving when you release the roof switch or when you turn the ignition off. To continue either raising or lowering the top and windows, turn the ignition to position one or two and press and hold the roof switch. You will have to hold the switch for several seconds before the roof or windows will move again. Once the roof is lowered, switch the ignition off and fit the custom color-coordinated roof cover. The cover is stored in its own pouch in the trunk. Simple instructions for fitting the cover are in your owner's manual. To raise the convertible top, remove the cover and once again apply the handbrake, put the gear selector in park or neutral, and turn the ignition key to position one or two. Press and hold the front of the roof switch on the console until the top is fully raised and the rear quarter windows are closed. To secure the top to the header bar, press the small button at the end of the roof release handle. Pull the handle down until the roof hook is in the latch on the header bar, then pull the handle up to its original position. Be sure both hooks are fastened. The rear quarter windows go up automatically during the final stages of raising the top. You can raise or lower the rear quarter windows without lowering the top. The handbrake must be on, the gear selector in park or neutral, and the ignition in position one or two. Do not unlatch the roof handles. Press and hold the front or back of the roof switch, depending on whether you are raising or lowering the windows. Note that there may be a delay of about eight seconds before the windows start to move. In an emergency, the electric roof system can be operated manually. The manual override switch is located beneath the trim panel inside the rear storage compartment. Complete instructions for the operation of this system are in your owner's manual. You are listening to one of the finest automobile sound systems available today. Designed and developed exclusively for Jaguar, this top quality system incorporates the latest advances in electronic technology to deliver exceptional sound reproduction. 
The simplified control panel is designed to be used with a minimum of effort or distraction from driving. The same controls operate both the radio and the cassette player. The unit detects whether a normal or chrome tape is being played and automatically sets the correct bias for playback. The control marked Dolby should be pressed in when playing Dolby tapes. You are now listening to a chrome tape recorded with the Dolby noise reduction system. Therefore, the Dolby double D symbol and the letters MTL should be visible on the upper right of the radio frequency display. Volume is controlled with a large round knob at the left of the unit. Bass, treble, and speaker balance are adjusted with the buttons at the lower right of the unit. Press to release the buttons, adjust the tone or balance, then press the buttons back to the recessed position. Logic control automatically senses which side of the tape is being played, then determines the correct direction for fast forward and rewind. Press the button marked FF to enter the fast forward mode. Press again to release the mode. Press the button marked REW to rewind. Press again to release. To play the other side of the tape without rewinding or fast forwarding to the beginning or end, press the button marked PRG. The tape will automatically reverse to the end of its travel and begin to play the other side. The side of the tape being played is indicated on the frequency display. At the lower left of the unit is the seek control. When rocked to the right, the tape advances to the next selection. When rocked to the left, the tape will rewind and restart the selection playing at the time you press the seek control. To scan through a tape to a particular selection, press in on the on-off volume control. The tape will fast forward to a selection, stop and play for seven seconds, then continue scanning to the next selection. Scanning will stop when the on-off volume control is pressed in again. The seek and scan will only work with normal commercial tapes. Excessive noise or blank spaces on home recorded tapes may interfere with the seek and scan functions. To maintain the quality of your tape system, Jaguar has provided a tape player cleaning kit. After about 15 hours of tape use, an audible tone will sound and the letters CLN will appear in the upper right of the frequency display to indicate that the tape heads should be clean. Pressing the control marked EJ ejects the tape. To protect tape heads and cassettes, tapes are automatically ejected when the ignition or the player are turned off. We'd like to acquaint you with some of the unique features of Jaguar's superb radio receiver although the radio will not operate while this cassette is playing. You may select either AM or FM stations with the band selector at the upper left of the unit. Press N for FM reception, press again for AM. The band being broadcast is indicated at the upper left of the frequency display. When a stereo station is playing, the ST indicator at the upper right of the display is lit. Electronic circuitry automatically selects the local or distance mode for the best reception. The control marked Tune at the bottom center of the unit may be used to select stations manually. Rock the control to the right to move up the tuning scale. Rock it to the left to move down the scale. Rocking the control marked Seek to the right automatically tunes and locks on to the next strongest station up the tuning scale. Rock it to the left for the next strongest station down the scale. Press in on the on-off volume control and the unit will scan up the frequency scale, pausing at each medium to strong station for seven seconds before moving up the scale. To stop the scan, press in on the volume control. You can preset 5 AM and 5 FM stations. Select the AM or FM band using either manual or scan tuning. When you've reached the desired station, press one of the presets numbered 1 to 5. When you hear an electronic tone, the station has been committed to the system's memory. Continue until all 5 AM and 5 FM stations have been programmed. To listen to a preset station, simply press the appropriate preset button. The Jaguar radio features a unique anti-theft device. If the radio is removed, it will not operate unless a pre-assigned five-digit code is used. 
The code for your unit, as well as instructions for its use, are contained in the security package you received from your Jaguar dealer. The red security light at the upper left of the unit will flash whenever the ignition is off. If an attempt is made to operate or remove the unit, a warning tone will sound every five seconds for one hour or until the ignition is turned on, then off, to stop the alarm. Comfort, the hallmark of a luxury automobile. The beginning of Jaguar's total driving experience. A new level of comfort that starts with Jaguar's sports style seats. Covered in top grain leather, their contoured design gives the right amount of support to keep you fresh and relaxed, even after hours behind the wheel. The front seats may be moved forward or back by releasing the control bar under the bottom front of the seats. The angle of the backs can be adjusted with the release on the left of the driver's seat and the right of the passengers. For additional comfort, the seat backs can be adjusted for lower back support, and both seat cushions and backs are equipped with timed heaters. The controls for the lumbar supports and heaters are on either side of the center console. The steering wheel can be repositioned by loosening the collar on the steering column just behind the wheel, two turns counterclockwise. Move the wheel in and out until you find the driving position most comfortable for you. Then lock it in place by tightening the collar. Thoughtful placement of all controls puts you in command of your XJS. The leather-covered steering wheel is designed to give you an unobstructed view of the instrument panel. A comprehensive display in the center of the panel monitors the vital systems of your XJS. Engine functions such as water temperature, oil pressure, fuel level, and battery condition are precisely monitored on clearly visible gauges. Colored warning lights and red and amber attention getters alert you to the status of numerous vehicle functions, including headlights, hazard lights, and the handbrake. Please refer to your XJS owner's manual for a detailed description of the information display. On the left of the instrument panel are the speedometer, the total mileage indicator, and the trip mileage indicator. To keep a record of the number of kilometers traveled during a trip, set the trip mileage indicator to zero by pushing the black knob at the bottom of the indicator. The master lighting switch is on the dashboard just to the left of the steering wheel. In the first position, with the switch at the bottom, all lights are off. In the second position, only the parking lights are on. In the third position, the headlight low beams are on. In the fourth position, both low beams and fog lights are on. And in the top position, just the fog lights are on. On the dashboard to the right of the steering column is the ignition and starter switch. There are two important controls on the steering column itself. The lever on the left controls the directional signals, the speed setting for the cruise control system, and the headlight dimmer switch. To switch from low to high beams, pull the lever toward you for a moment. Pull again to return to the low beams. The lever on the right of the steering column controls the windshield and headlight washer wiper system. To activate the windshield washer jets, which are automatically heated in cold weather, simply push in on the end of the stalk. The headlight washers only operate when the headlights are on. The Jaguar windshield wiper system can be adjusted for a single sweep of the blades a continuous sweep at either a slow or rapid rate, and an intermittent sweep during light rain. The horn is operated by pushing on the pads on either side of the center of the steering wheel. Both exterior side mirrors are electrically adjusted with the remote control switches on the driver's door just above the handle. The switch closer to you controls the driver's door mirror, the other the passenger's door mirror. Both mirrors have electric heating elements which operate when the rear window defroster is on. The lever for the hood latch is under the dashboard to the left of the steering column. To open the hood, push the lever down. When you close the hood, remember that it should not be slammed shut. With one hand, apply light downward pressure to the center of the hood until it gently rests on its closing latches. Secure the hood by pulling the lever under the dashboard toward you. 
For safety and convenience, your Jaguar is equipped with a central locking system, which is activated by either door lock mechanism. Moving the vertical lever in front of the interior release handle toward you to the lock position simultaneously locks both doors and the trunk. Three different keys are supplied with your XJS. The large black-topped key is for the ignition only. The all-metal dome-topped key locks or unlocks both doors, the trunk, the fuel filler flap, the glove box, and the rear storage compartment. The metal key with a concave top locks and unlocks only the doors and the fuel flap. If at any time you leave the car with a parking or garage attendant, you may, if you wish, leave only the ignition key and the concave key. This will prevent access to the glove box, trunk, and rear storage compartment, providing they are already locked. The convenient console is the command center for several important controls. At the top of the console is the Jaguar trip computer a useful aid for developing economical driving techniques. The trip computer records and stores data on fuel consumption, travel time, and distance. The computer can be used to display at any time either average or instantaneous fuel consumption, distance traveled, and the fuel consumed since the start of a trip or over a specific time period. The computer records the average speed and time elapsed for all periods since reset during which the ignition was on. When not displaying travel and fuel data, the digital readout shows the time of day. To set the time, press the reset button and the button marked DISP simultaneously until the correct minute is displayed. Then press the reset button and the time button simultaneously until the correct hour is displayed. The time will be displayed whenever the ignition is turned on or until other buttons are pressed to display travel data. To zero the computer for a specific trip or travel period, simply press the reset button for five seconds. All functions will then be set at zero and the computer will begin to accumulate data during the time the ignition is on. To display the running time elapsed since reset, press the time button, pause, then press the time button again. After six seconds of displaying elapsed time, the computer will reset to the time of day. Fuel use, distance traveled, and average speed will be monitored and updated every three seconds and may be displayed at any time during a trip. Press the button marked AVSPD for a reading of the average speed during the elapsed running time. Press the button marked AVE to display average fuel consumption. Press the button marked Fuel for a readout of the total amount of fuel consumed since reset. To determine the amount of fuel being consumed at any moment, press the button marked INST. Travel information can be displayed in miles and gallons or in kilometers and liters. Select the display you prefer by setting the control at the upper left of the display panel. The selected function button lights to show which data is being displayed. All computer information is stored when the ignition is off. When the ignition is turned on again, the computer continues to update the stored information. For a more detailed explanation of the trip computer and clock, please consult your owner's manual. Notice the two clusters of switches on either side of the trip computer. On the far left is the switch for the hazard warning lights. The next switch controls the rear window and door mirror defrosters. Just to the right of the trip computer is the switch for the map reading light on the passenger side of the dashboard. The next switch controls the interior lights on either side of the rear storage compartment. The lenses of these lights can be moved into three positions and operate in combination with either the switch on the dashboard or the opening and closing of the doors. Push the top of the lens to move it up. In this position, with the dashboard switch on, the lights will stay on whether the doors are opened or closed. With the lenses up and the dashboard switch off, the lights will go on only when the doors are opened. With the lenses in the center position, 
the lights will stay off regardless of the door or dashboard switch positions. Please note that the rear storage area has been designed specifically to hold luggage and is not safe for carrying passengers. Jaguar's sophisticated climate control center maintains a comfortable interior temperature in all weather conditions. Select the temperature that suits you by turning the knob at the left of the radio. The knob at the right controls the fan speed. In the automatic mode, the system will adjust the fan speed to maintain your preset temperature. The unit also features a manual override, which is adjusted by pulling out the left knob. You can then maintain the temperature of the air coming into the car from the dash and footwell vents at the level set on the left knob, regardless of the interior temperature. For additional comfort, the air control just below the radio allows you or your passenger to modify the temperature of the air directed at face level. Just to the left of the gear selector is the switch for the electronic cruise control. Jaguar Cruise Control is a comfort advantage on long highway trips. It can help you realize significant fuel economy by eliminating wasteful acceleration and deceleration by maintaining a constant preset speed. Moving the control switch to the on position activates the system. Once the desired cruising speed of approximately 60 kilometers an hour or more is reached, commit it to the system's memory by pressing the speed set button at the end of the lever on the left of the steering column. Release the accelerator and the system will automatically maintain the selected speed. If quick acceleration is needed, simply step on the accelerator, after which the system will return to the preset speed. If the foot brake is used to decrease speed, a touch of the resume switch on the center console will return your Jaguar to the preset speed. Luxury. Jaguar luxury. The elegance of a handcrafted burl wood dash and console. Hand matched and hand sewn top quality leather hides on the seats, door casings and center console. Thoughtful touches like the makeup mirror in the plush lined glove box. Individual map pockets on the front door panels. Center console storage under the armrest. And step lights on each door to illuminate the way when getting in and out and to signal traffic that the doors are open. Refinements designed for comfort and convenience. Refinements to complement the quiet power of Jaguar's own Mayhead V12. Engineered for superb response, smoothness, efficiency, and increased mileage. An engine which shares its championship racing legacy with the winning Castrol Jaguar XJR9 V12 GT prototype. These high-performance machines are protected by Castrol motor oil and other Castrol lubricants, and we recommend that you use Castrol quality products in your Jaguar as well. Jaguar XJS Convertible, the total driving experience. A reminder, for your safety, please use your seatbelt when you drive and encourage your passengers to use theirs. In just a few seconds, the auto reverse feature of your Jaguar sound system will automatically play side two of this tape. We invite you to enjoy a selection of music chosen for your driving pleasure. <laughs> 